we get that grass. All right, we're here at one of my favorite lakes in Georgia, and uh, we're getting ready to use the brand new Cabrera. It's a hybrid paddleboard, and we're going to end my favorite color, the Caribbean or Caribbean, whatever, tomato, tomato. Anyway, we're going to try to catch some fish on it today. I've got it rigged out. I've got the black pack with a bunch of rods. I've got the seat on it out of the shear water. I forget the name of it. Forgive me for that. Got cameras, got my good old bending branches paddle. Let's go try to catch a fish and try to break this boat in right with a big one. Let's go. So what I'm starting off with is a spinner bait. I got a double willow leaf blade. I believe it's double willow leaf. And um, I got a gold blade cause it's kind of cloudy. And then I'm just gonna run around this grass and see if I can't get one. I was wrong. It's a willow leaf and an Indiana blade. So I'm gonna try to go around this grass line and just see if I can't get something through here. I know the fish are here, but I've never caught them on this particular bank. But I'm still gonna try it anyway. And then when I get on this side, there's a lot of wood. And when I get over to the wood, then I'm gonna slow down and throw um, a worm, Texas rig worm, Grande bass, airtail wiggler in it. And if they're not there, then I'm gonna throw out in the middle of some deep wood with some deep diving crankbaits. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm giving an honest review on this boat. Not a review that's good for vibe or whatever. This is an honest review. Okay, so I first got on the seat. The seat right here is absolutely perfect like it is for me. But now, when I put the back down and sit on it, yeah, it just didn't give me that warm and fuzzy feeling. Maybe if you only had a couple rods, but when you've got probably, I don't know, thousand fifteen hundred dollars worth of rod on the back i'd rather just sit down in the seat makes me feel a little better so the boat to me is just like the maverick except for this seat and the seat that's a great great addition i love the seat but as far as sitting on the back with a bunch of rods yeah with just a few rods and if you turn over it's not so much to lose yeah and I'm not going to say turn over because it's probably hard to turn over, but get sideways and you fall off of it. The one thing I like about this Cabrera, the Maverick, is you could take a bait that has some resistance, such as a crankbait or a spinner bait, and you could pretty much pull yourself along the bank without paddling much. Because they're easy, they drift easy. Another thing I like about it, you can catch a three pound bass and they'll take you for a sleigh ride, especially a three pound spot. It's supposed to be a one mile an hour wind today. Little weatherman just don't hit it. There ain't no vet, but there's something wrong with that girl.
I didn't have it too long. I hope we didn't swallow it. Pretty fish. Ah. First fish on the Cabara. I didn't think I was going to get that out. That's a pound and a half. Alright, I think it's gone. way to break in a boat. Alright girl, sorry it took you only to play with you. like the boat the seat makes it I know there's other improvements but the seat makes this I mean it's just it's just better it's more comfortable especially uh, for old man but anyway I really like the boat I spent about four hours on it this morning I uh, caught two fish one decent one but there it is yep I like it all right, I'm going to take you a minute and walk around the boat. It's in the back of the truck. Um, it, that's probably the best way to walk around it, to be honest with you. So I'm going to walk around it and show you the way I have it set up. I do have a fish finder, and it's just gear track mounted, and I just didn't put it on today. So I didn't have much time to fish. I know the lake pretty well, so I didn't put it on. Should have, but didn't, because I love to know the water temperature. But that's beside the point. Let me spin this around and walk you around how i have the cabara set up okay i'll start out i have my gopro i got a gopro hero 5 i just happen to like the gopro hero 5 you can put um external battery source on it which is a phone charger basically power pack and i could run eight hours of film on that gopro hero 5 with a 128 gigabyte card and i i, I just like that to set it and just fish and not have to worry about it all right well come on back we got my seat now the way I done the seat, and I just gave me a point of reference just to try it, see if I like it, and I actually did. So here you can loosen these knobs and slide the seat forward or back. All right, I actually have it even with the back of the gear track. It's the way I done it, and it worked out very well. Now, if I didn't have all this weight back here on the boat, then I might slide it fo forward to kind of trim the boat out. So anyway, that's the way I have it, and I have the seat on it. Now, you can still put the, uh, I'm trying to, I can't even think of the name of it, but you can put the, the Larry chair. Whew, went blank. You can put the Larry chair, chair on here, 
or you can put this on it and or you can still put the hero seat on it but this right here seat this seat makes this boat that's just all it is to it all right i have the black pack and when i put the black pack on it i thought i could just use the taco clips just to put it here and be a little simpler but that ain't the way i done it i just wrapped my bungee cord and went through the front handles or front handle right there with my taco clip and then i took my bungees let me lay this rod down there before i can show you let me lay one two three all right so my bungees i went all the way around the whole thing then went around i don't know if that took or not but i went around the whole rod holders the way i done it and then done the taco clip on the front Okay, on my black pack itself, you know, I've got it where I can hold 10 rods. And I had somebody say, oh, that's all for show. No, I actually use those rods without having to retie. And I have my GoPro Hero 5 on the back. And that GoPro Hero 5 has the fuel, refuel camera pack on it. And that, bad, that thing, uh, I get about nine hours of recording time on that. So here, I just wanted to take and give you a quick walk around of the boat. I love the boat. I really do. It's, it's a just, it's a really improved boat over the Maverick. And that seat makes it. That right there. Makes it worthwhile. Alright. That's the walk around of the boat. And guys, please subscribe. It helps me. And it makes me think that what I'm doing is worthwhile. Or lets me know that it's worthwhile. And that's my setup. Please subscribe and check out my other fishing videos. Oh, by the way, I do hunting videos. I do side-by-side -side, off-road videos. I do any kind of thing that I can video and have fun doing. So I'm still having fun with it. When it's no fun no more, I'm going to quit videoing. All right, guys. The new Cabrera. I could possibly be the only one that's caught a bass in it so far because they're not released until another week all right the new boat thanks for watching